Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, um, I had to do a little bit of modification. I uh, had to lengthen one of my pipes uh, because I had to get around where I'm running my exhaust out. So you can see right here uh, that I put a bend in the pipe. There's where my exhaust is going to go out. I put a bend in the pipe to get around that. So then I had to splice. So what I did is I put a double on the, a double uh, PEX clamp on. I put a double PEX clamp on the ends to make sure that we didn't have failure uh, on these splices up inside my ceiling. Now I put my box in for my washer and um, so I've got uh, my pipes run back here for the washer to tie in. Uh, what I have to do is I have to go pick up some um, uh, pecs, some fittings that go from these cutoff valves to the half inch pecs. Okay, tell me. Okay, these are AGM batteries. You don't need to equalize them. Uh, if your system is set up to where you can adjust your bolt absorption and float, make sure if this is a 24 volt system for bolt or absorption, you want to do 14.5 times 2, and for float, you want to do 13.8 times 2 to get your settings for absorption and float. Okay, and what kind of grease is it? Dielectric? Dielectric grease. Okay, thank you, sir. And what size cable should I use on these? Uh, well, I have some ones, and the probably ones will be fine. If you were putting stringers of four, then I would say a three or something. But okay. I have some one-op cables if you want to buy them. And they're uh, 14 bucks a pair. Okay. All right? Okay. Here? Yeah, they're, I got them in okay. the shop, so when you're ever ready. Okay. You, uh, discharge the batteries make sure you go let the uh, batteries charge through the solar controller a couple of times so okay. that the uh, the solar controller knows the batteries and then go ahead and use your inverter and stuff. okay 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 sounds okay, good thanks buddy. well here are my batteries I have 12 of them and uh, I don't know much about batteries but I'm sure that I will soon learn more about them but uh, let's see if we can read that from up here uh, those of you who know something about batteries might understand that but I don't well we're going outside to see our new batteries because we've been waiting a long time for these haven't we babe yes we have been waiting <laughs> so, a long time <laughs> it's <laughs> been uh since, uh, I don't know, four or five months, whatever. Yeah. So it's exciting to get our new batteries. I've already showed them, but let's just take a look here. They're 120 amp hours each, and I have 12 of them. So I will build a frame that attaches directly to the, uh, the frame that holds the batteries will attach directly to the bus frame. So... Up underneath, they'll be actually in our storage area, but they'll all be attached to this bus frame right here. Uh, actually, I'm going to weld them on. So, um, they won't be able to go anywhere. Let's take a look over here. Where are they going to go? Whoops. I'll have to open the door. Mm, there we go. So, where they're going to go is uh, I will weld on the side of the frame right here. I'm going to weld and back here so it's going to have two deals on each end welded directly to the front frame so it'll float. It won't actually put any weight inside this uh, inside here. It'll just float. There you go. And uh, it's still filming. Oh. Hi. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, you're uh, you're doing a great job there. Let's see. I didn't know it was still filming. Yes. There you go. I do have my floor. It came in, and then I also have put my box up for my washer and dryer. Now it looks really high on the wall, as you can see. Uh, whoops. There, I'm standing on the floor right now, so you can see 
it looks like it's pretty high on the wall but we're raising the washer and dryer up so that it will be uh, right at Debbie's work level when she can open it up she wouldn't won't have to bend it all to use it and underneath it we're gonna put a big drawer so it'll have she can store all of her laundry stuff and up above it we'll have some shelving so that uh, so that she'll have a place to store stuff too there you go it's getting there